Hello everyone, it's Monday, so it's time for our analysis. Like usual in the morning, I would like to remind you about the 30 days wealth planner and the 90 days workbook. Don't forget about, don't forget about it, don't lose the momentum, don't lose the uh, don't lose your habits because after that you you have to start over. And at the beginning, I, I would like to ask you how are you doing today? If everything is fine. If you want to share some news from the weekend with me or you want me to go to analyze the market directly. Everything good? All good. Rzepka, Mateusz, Łukasz, Joseph. Fine. Nice to have a conversation with you. <laughs> All good. Win winter is common. Okay, Rzepka, I already know your excuses. Stara is sleeping. I cannot turn on the camera. Blah blah blah. <laughs> we had a conversation with Mateusz in the morning. That if your Stara is disturbing you, you have to replace her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or convince her to behave somehow. So after that, you will be able to talk to us, share your beautiful face, and so on. All right. I see you're not so talkative. So, well, before I share my screen, I would like to ask you, Daniel, how did you handle the situation on the gold market? You want to share your screen or no? If yes, then right now or after? However you like. So yeah, we can make yeah, a follow-up. Let's start from this gold situation because yeah. they asked about gold as well uh, yesterday on the chat. So I guess you can share your screen. Sure. Yes. You uh, have it? Yes. Yeah. So the case was that I had a buy in here. And you close the dollar or you just turn off the transaction here. level? Uh, I haven't closed it all, but I can show you. Wow, it surprised me because on Thursday or, or Wednesday, you said that you will not touch any yeah. transaction. Yeah, no, 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 that I will not close it with a loss. Ooh. So I didn't close it with a loss. So the sh long story short is we've been talking about adding some cells. So I've been thinking about adding some cells in here, but I didn't like the idea. Mm -hmm. And because of this one-to-one -one that we have in here and 61.8 of this movement. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe it will bounce up. And I had some cells in here, but when I saw it's bouncing back, I have closed those cells with some with some profit. Okay. I took some profit in here, and then I closed this one in here with some loss covered with this profit because I don't know whether this is going to move forward. All right. But then it went in here, so I was waiting for rebounds for a correction. And uh, I had 0 0.5 in here left by. Mm -hmm. So I opened here a cell 2.0. This went down to 30 uh, uh, 38.2, which covered this loss on zero. Wow. And I closed it in here. So right now you don't have any transaction, you have empty toolbox. Empty toolbox. Yeah, I had a. Uh, I did. I just started something in here, but didn't want to have anything over weekend, so I've closed it all. So what is your net already on your account? Thirty-eight percent. Yes. Finally, the new speaker will come to the stage. No now, way. Double the <laughs> account, and after that, I'm going for vacation because you will be responsible for market updates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in one year, maybe. <laughs> no. If I see your, your momentum, then you will be able to double your account at the end of the month. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to slow down. 
Anyway, it's an amazing result because you hit the 40% actually in two weeks and you did everything properly. All of these movements and transactions you open, it was with the proper risk from, from, from what I see and with some, let's say, confirmation behind you. It was not just an empty try because you had an idea that something can go up or down but you have a confirmation why you made this decision. So I'm proud of you, to be honest. Virtual run on applause. Uh, we'll see yeah. in the long run. Right now you can start over. Uh, you will continue with the gold market or you are going to switch it? Maybe, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm considering gold, Euro Audi, maybe... USD cut, we'll see. We'll see after market updates. So you don't have just one market, you are choosing the, the best one in the current moment. Yes. All right. The one that I feel comfortable with. That's also smart. All right, so let me start like usual. Just confirm if you see my screen. Yes. So like usual, let's start from the US dollar index to see what happened. And actually nothing crazy happened here. From the time we talked, we discussed about the market last time on Monday, we already had this movement right here. So whole week was kind of the consolidation right here. So basically speaking, we are at the level of one to one with the biggest correction in the previous movement. Once we will see the overbalance, um, which is 141.4, we will have the confirmation of the uh, of the end of the wave A. Right now, we are, let's say, it's still 50-50. Okay, it's closer to the overbalance than to the new bottom, but somehow you have to keep it in your mind that the fact that we have a deep A doesn't matter, that that doesn't mean, let's say, that they can go even deeper and break the bottom, okay? We are not opening transaction right here, but once the US dollar index will start falling down, then the markets related to dollar will go up. Right now, they are moving well, actually. They are following our plan. Mm, so let me switch to the, to the markets. The first one, is euro dollar when we talked last time i told you it was pro probably here yes um it's again small consolidation they stopped at the level uh, of shallow a what you have to have in your mind that this is the overbalance of the previous biggest correction and we are in front of the next one to one which is this one and basically speaking, actually, in these cases, we know two things for sure. We know for sure that they will hit the local top and we know for sure that they should bring the bottom. Okay, why for sure? I mean, for sure it's not 100% right here, but let's say they should do both of this movement because the end of the correction cannot stop at the level of shallow way. So anyway, they must go higher to touch at least 50 or 61.8, or even create a deep A from this shallow A right now. And because of the theory, we know that after the overbalance, the market is going to the next one to one, they should break this bottom and at least touch the level of one to one. So this is something we know. The thing we don't know is which movement which will come first. So we don't know if the market will go right now to hit the level of 50 as a first thing or start falling down to break the local bottom. So if we talk about the numbers to the local top, it's 38, 40 pips, let's say 50 to the level of 50 and to the local bottom is 85 pips. What is, which direction is better for you to play? For me, because of, because of just the risk, it's easier for me to play sell because I have overbalance behind me. And even if you put your buy stop above the <coughs> highest point, right here, it's still around 40 pips. Once the price will go higher and hit your top, 
then you will wait for the candle formation at the level of 50 or higher depends when they stop and create the candle formation of course when they stop start falling down take profit might be somewhere around the new bottom or if you would like to squeeze the market a little bit more somewhere close to the level of one to one if it's a good spot to put the risk right now, I don't know, let's say, in my opinion, gold looks better to put the risk on the table. But if, for example, for some reason, euro dollar is your one of the favorite market, then the risk is still acceptable to enter the market immediately. So basically, this is that's it. If we talk about the euro dollar, you know that euro dollar is not the fastest market. I, I would say that this is the slowest market comparing to other markets related to dollars. So most probably you will find something better today, but if you like it, I mean, the opportunity is still good. It's not bad. Oh, it's, it's better this way. Do you have some question about it? Let me turn on the chat. Or is it clear? In your opinion, if you have, a, if you have to make a choice, which direction is better to play for you, you will go with by yourself in this case. For me, sell. Okay. The risk around 40 pips is acceptable for me. Good. All right. So the next one is basically in the same situation or similar situation. It's a GBP USD. This is the same story. The market touched the level of deep A, created the candle formation at the level uh, on the daily time frame, and well, maybe it's not even better because there is three corrections, very similar to each other. And overbalance of the first one is already one to one of the second one. Overbalance of the second one is already the one-to-one -one with the third one. So basically speaking, the final confirmation of the fact that there is a, that there is an end of the deep A will be after the price will fall down and touch the level of one-to-one -one of the, I mean, touch the overbalance of the correction number three. However, it gives you a space to play by if we talk about temporary transactions. Because right now we were, or I guess week ago we were, that the price came to the first one-to-one -one zone. And the range is big because from the current bottom up to the biggest overbalance is over 160 pips. So here, uh, I mean, I like those kind of spots to do scalping because I have a range, let's say, be between the local top which is the, let's say, our virtual end of a deep A. It's not confirmed, but because the, we don't have an overbalance, but this is, this is something we can say for now, up to the general overbalance. is the range of 300 something pips where we can expect the consolidation or we can expect up and downs, okay? So right now, what I would say about this market, it's definitely not a bad spot to try sell because the risk is here 30 pips, okay? If you wanna split the risk according to what we discussed last Wednesday, the first half of your security order might be above the stop and the second might be above the general top of the deep eye right now. And the zone to play sell, is from the current moment until the local bottoms here. Okay, I will even bet here that once they will break local bottom, I will try buying. Okay, so right now I'm in the sell zone. I also enter the sell transaction. And my security order, basically speaking, is above the general top right here. And I'm doing scalping here. Once the price fall down a few pips, which is few, it, it must be your number. For some of you, a few is, for example, 20. For some of you, might be 50. And some of you might wait until the price will fall even more than 100. 
and this is my cell zone. And I will change for buy once the price come somewhere to touch this local bottoms, let's say here, 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 okay? This is, let's say, non-formal zone somewhere here. With the security order, which is the sell stop, I will, after the price come here, I will try to enter buy transaction with the sell stop below the bottom. And I'm aware of the fact that the price can um, do a few false breaks because we have one, two, three, one to one zones. But anyway, I'm safe for another 100 few, 150, let's say in total pips where I will play buy only. So this is something I like for scalping. This is something I hate for the longer term transactions. So again, it's up to you. If you are longer term traders, then most probably Euro dollar looks better for you. If you prefer to do scalping, then GBP USD will give you, is giving you, not, not will give you, is giving you much more space to, to try to take few profitable transactions from the market. Okay, so again, depends what style you have. Uh, it's better to play Euro dollar or GBP USD. What do you think about this market? Which market you will choose? Euro dollar or GBP USD? Which I will choose this one. Okay. I mean, it seems like a little bit more than scalping for a few pips. It's like a long ter longer term scalping. It's something between scalping and longer term transactions because anyway, it's never written how much is for scalping and how much is for longer term. So it's basically according to, to your, to, to the rules you set. But me personally, I feel more GBP USD. So it's better for me. I'm definitely try to collect few pips for sale right now. And I will wait until they will just fall down more, approximately over hundred pips. 100, 120, something like this. Once I will see that they fall down and create a nice candle formation, then I will switch for buy. Next one, Audi USD. So basically speaking, to sum, sum up, GBP USD is also ready to play. Right now, we have a H4 candle formation. It's nice and clear shooting star. Okay, and after that, right here, we have a test of this candle. What is more, Audi USD. We know where we are from the bigger picture. We know that there is a deep A confirmed with the overbalance and deep A after the deep A without overbalance yet, but the overbalance is few pips above the top. And right now we are in the one-to-one -one zone. So because of what we have behind us, I still think that temporarily it's better to play by with the security order below this uh, bottom shadow, down shadow of this hammer right here. And basically speaking, when we talked last week, we were somewhere here or here. So this is again, nice situation for scalpers. If you'd like to collect few pips, which is 20, 30, 50, and jump out of the market is good. As you can see, it's the market gave us one situation, second spot to enter, third spot to enter. And right now there is fourth spot to enter. Even if there is no candle formation, you can consider entering the market using the previous candle formation, which is right here with the total risk of 30 pips. And if you, if you prefer to be a little bit safer, you can even split it and set up one or part of your security order below this bottom right here and the second one right there. Okay, I know that there is not so far away one from each other because it's just like five, seven, eight, maximum 10 pips, but this is also something you can use, you can practice. So basically speaking, the market is ready to play we can have the situation like they will fall down, do the false break of this bottom, touch the level of 127.2 and create another candle formation. So all you have to do after that is just to use scenario 3A 
3B depends what the future will bring once they will fall down a little bit more and touch the overbalance of the biggest correction right here. All you have to do is to stay with sell, wait for the correction, close your buy first, enter sell from the top, and that's it. Nice with the low risk ready to play. So all of these free markets are ready to play, but it's also connected with the different styles of trading. So again, depends what you want, what you want to get from the market, uh, which style it's better for you to trade. You can choose your market. Questions to so, this Audi USD? Buy here with the expectation of uh, top. This is what I'm trying to, to guess. I mean, I'm, I'm following more this scenario because from the higher time frame, we had an overbalance with the deep A. After that deep A was confirmed because we had an overbalance of the biggest correction and we have deep A after the deep A and just two, three pips above the top or 10, 19, sorry, it's more than two, three. <laughs> Anyway, 20 pips above the stop is another last overbalance. That's why I'm choosing buy. Okay. And the, the another reason why I'm choosing buy is that we are at the level of one to one. So I guess that this stop, few pips away from the overbalance, it was just a temporary stop. Right now, the market will close the biggest one to one and come back to the top. Okay. I can be wrong. But this is something what I think right now. And if you want to play according to this, all you have to do is to calculate the risk. If we will do the print screen of this current situation and go to our, our favorite, favorite tool, which is paint, boom. What we have on the table, if we consider by scenario, you are able to enter right here with the sell stop below the bottom. The risk less than 30 pips, okay? And the expectations, new top. The second scenario is that of course they can continue to fall down, but if we talk about selling right now, actually there is no spot to enter sell. Or maybe if you wanna enter sell right here, that maybe you should secure yourself right here with the, sorry, buy stop, if you would like to enter sell. But what after? What if they will go up, 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 up? How long you will keep this buy stop? You will wait for the overbalance of the biggest correction, correction to close sell first and after that leave the buy position only. Or let's say if you will be lucky, then maybe the price will go lower and break the level of the overbalance. After that, anyway, the correction will come. I'm not expecting the swing to the new bottom. So basically speaking, in my calculation, it's still easier. I mean, I don't have to make it so complicated. It's easier for me to enter the market with the risk of 30 pips and expectation of approximately 200, okay, to have us take profit somewhere uh, close to the local top or similar story to Euro dollar, squeeze it a little bit more and wait for an overbalance. Done to enter sell right now with the risk above the local top, because as you can see, it's double, let's say it's close to 60 right now. So what you are going to play, risk 60 to make 60, there is, never written that they will go to overbalance. If you'd like to risk 60 to play just to the false break, is play to 30. Uh, so anyway, for me, it's easier to risk 30 because after they will break the bottom, I can have two options. They will do the false break and stay at the level of 127.2 or fall down more and after that, I will be sure because we already have overbalance. So maths is telling me that it's easier for me to play by if I would like to enter the market immediately. Okay, if 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 I need to think about sell, then most probably for sell, 
let me use the, oh, can I paste it again? Don't save. I, I lost it. Oh, no. If, if you ask me to create a sales scenario, most probably the easiest way for me will be to wait for the overbalance first, wait for the correction, and after that here, try to find sell spot. And again, it depends what you expect. If you'd like to find some longer term transaction, definitely the risk reward ratio six or seven to one is a good try. And after that, you can keep this transaction even next week or two, but it can give you another 20% of your account when you will lose zero one per thousand. So it's worthy, okay? The risk is small because one you have to option false break or overbalance. If you would like to play sell, then it's better to wait for overbalance, correction after overbalance, and after that you will be able to play sell. Make sense for you? Okay, good. Yes. For anyone? Yes, good. Yes. Actually, NZD USD has a one to one situation. We are at the level of one to one with the biggest correction. I guess this one is smaller. Yes, no, uh, it's just one pips or two. As you can see here, it's even better because they already touched the 127 on Audi USD, they didn't. So our overbalance is right, right here. So maths and explanation is pretty much the same right now, according to the background, which is very similar to the Audi USD and the current moment and the situation, the fact that the overbalance here is even closer because it's just six pips above the local top, I guess that it was just a temporary stop to close the one to one correction and they will go back to top to the top. And if we talk about maps, the total risk is 26 pips, so it's still below 30. If you want to split it, you have 12 and 26. Expectation 150. So it's five to one, from five to six to one. So you can choose whether it's better for you to play NSD USD or Audi USD. Both are look good. And if we talk about sell, it is for buy. Mm, if we talk about sell, for sure, I will wait for the overbalance and then correction after overbalance and then sell. Because right now, if you'd like to enter sell immediately, so the normal spot to put the security order should be somewhere here because as you can see, we have a small uh, resistance level. Let's say if we talk about this correct movement, with the risk of 70 pips and to the new bottom is 25. Pointless to enter, enter right now. And the last is gold. Here we know the background. There is an overbalance of the biggest correction and we are waiting for the next one to one, which is this one. What happened after? It looks like a simple correction. It's not like, it doesn't look like a proper, proper from the presentation, but anyway, we have a three waves. The price stopped at the level of 61.8, created an overbalance of the biggest correction in the previous up movement. After that created some shape of the correction, because <laughs> if we treat this as a correction and overbalance after the correction. We can name it like this, which is one A, B right here, or B as a flat correction in the middle, doesn't matter, up to you. C, confirmed by the overbalance of the biggest correction. <clears throat> and after that, if we put our new local zero and one, we can treat it as an A, three waves B, C, speeding correction because this A was neutral and they touched the level of 168. 
which is good for us. Okay, I know it because we made this analysis with Mateusz two hours ago. Um, and after that, we can cut the market right here and check if we already have the overbalance of the biggest correction, because here we have a nice and clear H4 candle formation with a deep test right now. Uh, basically speaking, the risk is approximately 60, 70 pips, but I will tell you how you can split it. So the biggest correction in the previous movement is, sorry, right here. Let's take it, put it to the top, another overbalance. Okay, so if we'll change the color right here, again, for the green, this movement created another overbalance. So basically speaking, gold looks the best for me. And if you'd like to enter the market, you can split it. The first buy stop, stop loss, whatever can be above this local top. And the second might be above the general top. And I'm trying to add another cell as, <clears throat> as well here. So basically speaking, according to the situation, the best situation on the markets related to US dollar, basically speaking, gold market looks the best. We have overbalance, shape of the correction, overbalance of the biggest correction, and another overbalance of the last movement of the correction. But you have to remember that the gold market is faster and the ranges between the candles and the candles by itself, there are, there are bigger. So it's safer to play currencies than the gold market. But if you would like to split your volume or enter the gold market with the lower volume, still think that it looks the best. After that, answer the USD and how the USD, they look pretty cool with a little, for the little bit longer term transaction with the risk reward ratio from five to seven to one with the risk approximately below 30 pips, also good for the longer term traders. And after that, at the end, we have the markets for scalpers, which is GBP USD and Euro dollar. Fuck, it sounds, it sounds amazing. You can play everywhere. It's not so often. The situation does not, not happen so often. After that, just please don't be crazy because sometimes, you know, we have that kind of feeling or hunger that because of the fact that all of the market looks the best then the idea come to us that you'd like to play everywhere, just still try to stick to your rules and choose at least one market, I mean one, maximum two or three, but here we have all of them related to dollar. So I guess you have to choose, you should choose the one of them or just split the volume between two of them to basically speaking have approximately volume around 0 0.1 per thousand of dollars of the money on your account. Cool. And I guess cool. there's only one of them ready to play immediately. After that, what we have. Uh, dojos. Another overbalance <laughs> without touching one to one, they hit the new top. So there is no rules here. What we can do, if you'd like to try, <laughs> is to measure the biggest one-to-one, -one, move it a little bit higher. Let me delete the second one. Move it a little bit higher. Oh. And wait until they come to the one-to-one -one zone. Of course, according to the rules, there is a false break and H4 candle formation, of course, but the risk from the other side is 260, 270 pips. And you know the specification of the market, okay? We can have a swing or 
connected with two, three candles like this, and after that, the price will fall down over 1,000 pips. But from the other side, they can constantly go up. So for me personally, it's better to stay away from the market when I see this kind of the situation <coughs> and wait at least for the one-to-one -to, -one to enter buy than trying to enter sell. Mm, and I guess if you want to try entering sell transaction, then DAX might be better for you. We planned last week, we, try, we were trying to find <clears throat> the scenario for sell and we, after our analysis, we know that there is an overbalance as well. The next one to one is right here. So we started creating this scenario. We found the overbalance, deep A, three waves B, and even the geometric cluster. Just let me check if they are still on the cluster or they already touched the deep A. They touch the deep A. Okay, so what we can do right here, instead of the C, we can move our deep A right here, correct? To check if it's done, we can check the previous biggest correction. Okay, and we can consider like it's done. So maybe if you would, if you would like to try in a one hour, 20 minutes, there will be entry point if they will stay like this and create H4 candle formation. And you would be able to try with the double or almost triple lower list done on the Dow Jones market. And after DeFi, you can expect flat or speeding correction. So you can do scalping. You can try to set up your take profit somewhere here. I mean, it's still risky, <coughs> but it's definitely less risky to try entering sell on dogs than on dojos. And basically speaking, that's it. If we talk about the current situation, the chance was <coughs> actually 40 minutes ago to try with the 70 pips of risk. Maybe you will wait for the <coughs> overbalance of the last biggest correction and the correction to enter. I don't know, but this is the situation. This is how I will describe this using the theory. However, theory is the theory and indices are indices. So anyway, I'm not recommending to enter sell on the indices, but if you really want to try, please reduce your volume, maybe try even with the stop loss. And after that, you will not have the problem once they will, you know, start going up and activate you. Clear? Yes. Yes. And the last one. The last one is S&P 500. And what I told you already, I'm expecting them to slowly, slowly go to the top. And <laughs> this weekly candle formation definitely doesn't look like they would like to start falling down. And what is more, we are just 300 pips away from the biggest point in the history created when in 2022. So it might be also like this that Dow Jones and DAX, they are waiting for S&P 500 because S&P 500 is the biggest market in the world, the biggest index in the world. And maybe after the S&P 500 will hit the general top, the small crisis, let's say, will start and the indices will start falling down as well. There is no confirmation here. As you can see, even if they created an overbalance, after that, the, they covered all of the candle, black candle with the white one, 
with the B size from the bottom to the top over 1000 pips last week. And to be honest, this candle formation also doesn't look like a strong for trying sell. Of course, we can create a name for this candle because it might be a shark 42. Do you know shark 42? 32, sorry. <coughs> or no. inside bar down. Shark 42, 32, sorry, is the situation. Inside bar, you know, correct? Okay, so shark 42 is the situation like this. Doesn't matter the shape of the candles. It is matter that the second one is smaller than the first one and the third one is smaller than the second one. So we usually put the cell stops below one pips below the lowest point of the candle number one and the candle number four must do the activation this is a shark 32 and if we talk about the inside bar for cell inside bar is that is when the second candle is smaller than the first one and of course we are put placing cell stops below one pips below the lowest point and the third candle must activate it this is inside bar a down and of course if we are talking about inside bar up color doesn't matter here that's why i'm creating this kind of candles inside bar up is when here the third candle will hit the previous top of the candle number one and our order is going to be buy stop plus one plus spread above the top of the first one and this is ib up and here in this case it doesn't matter because the shark 32 is for both direction just depends when, where you are looking for this so if if it's somewhere on the top, then you are trying to find the sell transaction. If somewhere in the bottom, then you are trying to <coughs> find buy transaction. Okay, but this is something like hint for you. I didn't implement you the hammer head up and the hammer head down. It's connected with the seven candle. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, and the number seven must hit the top or hit the bottom <laughs> and this is also the candle formation called hammerhead but it's pointless to have it because it's very hard to find it so if you'd like to add oh fuck where is the rubber i will just do it like this so if you'd like to add the shark 32 you can sometimes it's worth it to use the inside bar up and inside bar down because you you have you you check the markets and you think that there is no candle formation let me find for you oh here was outside bar but it was a different candle formation as well i'm looking for the weird example for example, here, as you can see, right there. Oh, the first candle was the biggest one. The second was inside of the first one. So after that, our order will be sell stop one pips below the white one and the third candle activates us. Okay, so it's sometimes it's easier or you can save some pips because you can call it as well the evening star, correct? But with the evening star, your total risk here was approximately 100 pips and with the inside bar, it was 59.60. Okay, so it's kind of the hint.
Coming back to the story, I'm not expecting S&P 500 to drastically fall down. I guess that they will continue to go up to finally hit the general top of the top. And after that, I'm expecting the small crisis in 2024. I don't know if it will be connected with another, let's say, coronavirus or something, or it will be just beginning of the war, or Russia will do something, or US will do something, or Trump will do something, but it might happen in the closest future. I mean, the correction in the market, not the crisis. The crisis is just the name for the people who doesn't understand the market movements. So basically speaking, that's it if we talk about the S&P 500. Uh, so the only one market when you can give yourself a try is the DAX market, but I suggest to do it with the stop loss if you would like to try. That's it. Any questions? Or it's clear. Clear, okay. clear. Bombastic. Bombastic, fantastic. What happened here? Mm -hmm. From one side is expensive, we know that. From the other side, they came to one to one. So we were trying to find the common space. And we consider that, that if they would like to go up or continue to go up, we can have a shape of speeding correction with the deep A, three waves B, and we are missing the C. Boom, geometric cluster, rach, chach, chach, like pop, etc. Ram, pam, 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 yep, yep, yep. Here is the geometric cluster. Okay, if you think that there is expensive and they should start falling down, Anyway, the common space between both of this scenario is the wave C of the potential speeding correction. Okay, so basically speaking, there is a zone of over 400 pips where you can give yourself a try to enter sell. What is my suggestion? To enter one good transaction with the risk of 90 pips so it's four to one, or it's better for you to find the candle formation just and do scalping with the stop loss or buy stop above the candle with the risk of 20 pips. I would say that scalping is better here because let's say there you have to remember that there is still one to one <clears throat> behind us. So what we are trying to do right now is to catching the B. So we don't know if this is the top or they will go a little bit higher or a little bit more, much, more, much more higher, 50 pips higher, 100 pips higher, they can, okay? It looks like we are missing the wave C right here, but anyway, you have to remember that behind you, there is a one-to-one. -one. So it's also possible that they will continue to go up. So in my case, in my opinion, I mean, what I would suggest if you ask me, I suggest, I'm suggesting to do scalping for sell or in the sell direction, higher the price will be, better chance to enter or repeat sell transaction. Right now, the market is ready to play with the risk of 18 pips. So if you are looking for the market to play different than dollar, maybe is a good one to trade. Basically speaking, GBP USD, sorry, GBP JPY looks very similar. From one side, it's very expensive. From the other side, we are trying to catch the B. And last time we had those level of the price in 2015, so already eight years ago. So somehow it's not a bad spot to, to enter sell. However, you have to remember that behind you, there is still one-to-one. -one. So what you can try to do is to find a common space between buy scenario and sell scenario. And if, I'm, if I need to consider it as a one after that deep A, maybe three waves B, 
then like on the Euro J JPY, we are missing this wave C right here. Okay, once the price will come here to the level of one to one, it will become deep again, but this is a different story. If you are looking for the market to do scalping, then most probably it's not a bad idea. The risk on the candle is 25 pips. If you would like to put the buy stop above the general top is 86 pips. This is yen, which is approximately 0 0.6 of dollars. So the risk is approximately around 50 something with the buy stop above the top. And my suggestion is the same because the situation is not clear. Let's say, I mean, we, we have a clearer market to enter right now. I would not go with the long-term transaction, but to do scalping, I will choose sell direction more than buy. Correct? Clear for you? I guess so. USDJPY, what happened here? Of course, yes, they stopped 20 pips away from overbalance with the biggest correction. You already remember that we have double top. There is a big overbalance behind us. We consider this up movement as a deep A, very deep A. And right now, we are missing only one puzzle, which is the overbalance to have a confirmation of the deep A. However, again, they are still at the level of one, two, one. From the other side, they came to the level, first of all, they came to the level of shallow A. If we have a look, the cell direction, because of what we have behind us, they created a daily candle formation at the level of shallow A. After that, they hit the top, created a daily candle formation, which is a false break. In the same time, maybe if you think about sell, you can consider this movement as a non-formal, let's say zero and one. After that, A, three waves B and C, as a speeding correction with the resistance zone. Or, uh, if we have a look in the downtrend, this support zone for us here. And they are testing the local top right now. We have a daily candle formation, but there is no H1 candle formation. And we have H4 candle formation, which is also a false break comparing to the previous movement. What to do? President. The total risk to the current top is 100 pips. So it's $60 playing 0 0.1. Still acceptable. Do we have something on H1? Nothing for now. H4, nothing for now. So maybe if you'd like to do scalping, it's better to do scalping on Euro JPY or GBP JPY. And here it's good to wait for the overbalance of the last correction, if you think about a little bit longer term transaction. But if we talk even about the one to one, it's 100 pips to the top and 160 to the level of 100% of the previous correction, then for me, it's a standby. So it's definitely easier or more clear to play on the, or to play on the markets. Uh, on the on the different JPYs than here on USD JPY. So I would skip it for now. Wait, maybe when they hit the top and create a nicer candle formation, then it will be a good moment to enter sell. Or once they will start falling down and do the overbalance of this movement, then it will be also clearer for now. So even for scalping, there is no candle formation right now. Maybe on this M15 with the small risk, actually, if you want to do scalping, you can do scalping everywhere. But I'm trying to mix a scalping with some range to play, to repeat this transaction once or twice. 
So definitely even over that, uh, with this information, GBP JPY and Euro JPY looks better than USD JPY. So right now, I'm going to say that it's better to put USD JPY in the standby mode instead of trying to enter right here. Is it clear? And basically speaking, Euro JPY and GBP JPY is like equal for me. It doesn't really matter where you will play. They are looking the same. USD card consolidation. Nothing here, no space to play. We are missing, we are, let's say, in the middle between there is 140 pips to the geometry cluster and 230 pips to the bottom, local bottom. Of course, it's easier for us to play sell according to the rules because next one to one is here below the local bottom. Mm. So what to do? Wait until they will go to the cluster or wait for the correction at least, I don't know, 50%. That will be not so bad idea. If you really want to trade USD CAD, the best what you can do is to focus on the other markets and wait until USD CAD will come here or do the nice correction, at least the 50% of the current, current movement. But isn't it a one-to-one, -one, just the level we're in with, with the, this guy, yeah, with this one? With A? Yeah. They are at the level of one to one. So it might be a reason why temporarily you can do scalping. But as you can see, the geometry cluster is higher. So I don't like to trade this market. The money you can collect from the pips you will collect are 0 0.6 to come if you compare it to dollar. So on the markets like this, especially weaker than dollar, I need to have a stronger confirmation to do not lose the money and time entering the market. But according to what you said, they are at the level of one to one right now. So again, if we talk about some scalping ideas, maybe you can try. However, this is just a one-to-one -one because this one-to-one -one is not confirmed by the overbalance right now because the biggest correction is here. They didn't come even to the one-to-one. -one. Mm, the next biggest correction, let's say, I guess is right here. They came to the level of actually here, they did the overbalance of this and they are in front of this correction. So maybe if you'd like to give yourself a try, what is the risk? Thirty-seven pips. If you would like to put the buy stop above this local top, seven pips. Playing zero point one is like three four dollars. Is it worthy for you? If yes, then you can you can have fun. Because according to this, even if the on the smaller picture. You have a range to play up to the one to one. To the general top is 36, to the level is 76. Let's say two to one. Okay, higher the price will be, better chance for you to, to try with the low risk. But definitely, if I have the market like this, uh, it's better for me to try on an SD, USD or Audi, USD once I see some small confirmation, which is the candle formation. I can collect more money for the same, same movement. And the last one, Audi, your Audi. Here we are waiting. For the geometry cluster, we have 0, 1, A, 3 waves B, and we are waiting for C. Temporarily, they came to the biggest correction in the last movement. They stopped at the level of 122. To the local top is 20 pips. To the overbalance line is 31. 
Okay, from the other side here, we have another one-to-one -one behind us. However, the B didn't touch the one-to-one -one yet. So for the long-term transaction, <laughs> the best what they can do is to hit the overbalance to the correction to give us a space to enter for the longer movement to for the wave C. However, for scalping, if you would like to try, because of the one-to-one -one and the low risk, because of the one-to-one -one and the low risk, you can try sell with the 0, 0.0, <clears throat> with, with just, sorry, not, not the volume, with the 28 plus spread, so approximately 30 pips. Basically speaking, you have one try. Because once they hit the top, I guess they will already hit the overbalance line, which is 10 pips away. So you can give yourself this kind of try even without the candle formation if you want to, because the risk is low and you have one try only. Once they hit the top, it will be overbalanced for you. Uh, easy story. And of course, if they will continue to fall down right now without hitting this local top, they can even go to break the bottom just because we know what is be below the bottom. It's one to one with the biggest correction. So what is the potential? 30 pips of risk and 290 pips of the profit. Nine to one, 10 to one depends, but it doesn't look that they would like to fall down. Maybe they will create a candle formation soon. If you would like to do scalping, then just wait for M15. Market will be ready to play. If you are waiting for the long-term transaction, I would suggest to wait for the better correction to play by, because anyway, if they will go to, to break the bottom, after they will break the bottom, it will have a double scenario because of the one-to-one -one and the sell scenario. So after that, we can say for sure they should come back to the level of at least 50. So even if you will try somewhere in the middle to enter bar with the expectation of the longer movement, you will have chance to quit even if you make mistake, but there is no bad. Ah, yes, but if you'd like to do scalping, <laughs> I forgot what I wanted to say, then the market is ready to play right now. Okay, so to sum up, if you would like to do scalping, your ROD is ready to play right now, just I'm suggesting to wait for at least M15 candle formation or M5, up to you. Euro USD is ready to play, but there is no candle formation. What I would suggest is to put the buy stop above the general top. And after that, you have approximately two to one risk reward. USD JPY, I will leave for now. GBP JPY might be ready for sell after uh, candle formation. Same with Euro JPY, <clears throat> S&P 500 standby. DAX, you can try for sell. Dow Jones stand by until the next one to one. Gold ready for sell. And that the USD ready for buy. Same with the Audi USD. Same with the not GBP USD ready for sell. And Euro USD ready for sell. If you are looking for the longer term transaction, then of course somehow. Uh, Euro dollar is ready to play with the higher risk right now, approximately 50 pips and the expectation of 80. It's going lower and lower. When it's already one to one, it's better to leave it and find a better spot. GBP, USD, as I said, I'm trying to sell it right now. Once they will come back, not come back, come to the one to one zone, I will try to buy it. How the USD is ready to play with the longer chat term. Uh, expectation is a new top as a the USD expectation new top the risk is only smaller right now it's just 20 pips gold longer term transaction for sell with the risk of 60 pips 
Dow Jones standby, DAX for me standby, S&P for me standby, Euro JPY for the long term transaction, but have to skip it. Same with GBP JPY, same with USD JPY. Actually, in my case, same with USD CAD. And Euro D. Basically speaking, just because I have a one chance to enter sell, maybe I will put the risk on the table. And after I see the M15 candle formation, actually, I have M15. Actually, maybe even I will try to enter sell with the buys with the stop loss above the local top, just to give myself a try because the risk reward is nice, is 10 to 1. In this case, if we talk about new bottom. And that's it. Let me know if it's clear for you. So many options on the table. Yes. It, it will be a very nice week or two. I mean, it will be a very nice end of the month, we can say. So what I would like to ask you for is to do not cross your risk. Because when there is no spots to play, it's much easier to control yourself than when there's a lot of spots to play. So first of all, remember what is your main strategy or main market or main expectation from the market monthly or generally. And after that, have fun with other markets. And if you want to have fun with other markets, maybe it's even better to play with the stop loss and just give yourself one to try. If you will make money, then good. If not, then nothing happened. Than to try to hedge yourself on many markets. And basically, that's it. So as, as, as usual, I will update you through the app. Today, tomorrow, Toyota, like on this ad. Just kidding. And with me, we will see each other on Friday. Tomorrow, you have a session with Monica. Wednesday, the session with Marek. Thursday, session with Marek. Polish session for Polish people on Wednesday. Uh, afternoon in Polish, of course, and Friday mindset call. We will start from the very beginning um, again. So for now, I wish you a good day, a lot of sun, good temperature outside. I'm sending you 10 degrees from my side. I will still have 20. <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> but it was good one. <laughs> and yeah we are in touch remember that we can we have a whatsapp group so if you have some hints or fast questions you can do the print screen and ask question about if it's a good spot to enter or if you find some nice shot to enter you can also share your ideas this is the whatsapp this is why we created this whatsapp group so don't forget about it it's more for you than for me. And anyway, have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.